Hey everyone, you guys know what it is. It is the Vogue Winter 2024 patterns that we all been waiting on. Now this is actually a decent collection. I'll be picking up a few. I'm gonna highlight that with you, but if that's some content you would like to see on what patterns came out as well as some pattern comparison, cause that's what I do, right? So if that's some content you would like to see, please continue to watch. everyone welcome welcome back to the channel it's your girl Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs in this video I'm going to be sharing those Vogue winter 2024 patterns that just dropped now I would have had this done for you guys if I was actually at home but because of Hurricane Milton I was displaced to Brunswick Georgia for a day and then I decided to come back home afterwards so I didn't have enough time to edit and get it to you guys but nor here or there we're going to go ahead and get it done because you know your girl don't be making all of these different excuses of why I didn't put something out. So without further ado, to keep this video short, sweet, and to the point, give you the news that you can use on this video. Go ahead and get something to drink and a quick snack and grab your notebook and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, Vogue dropped their winter 2024 patterns and this collection ranged from 2063 to 2082. Let's go ahead and get into the first pattern. All of these are Vogue, so I'm just gonna tell you the number. First one is 2063. It is a Mrs. Dress and two lengths. So this is a close fitting line ruched dress. It has off the shoulder neckline with long sleeves, contrast front inset, gathers, invisible back zipper and length variation. So it is an average to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, it's two pattern envelopes, eight to 16 on the first pattern envelope and 18 to 26 on the second pattern envelope. Now let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric, because this is one that you're gonna need to, to use some stretch knit, a two-way stretch knit, 50% across the grain is what's needed. You can use sequin mesh, you can use spandex, jersey, just to name a few, you're going to need some lining fabric. So make sure you use lightweight jersey for that lining. Now in terms of the in terms of contrast, you're gonna need some stretch lace or stretch mesh as well. Um, dropping down to kind of like the notions, notions you're gonna need a 20 inch invisible zipper and some elastic. So according to the back of the pattern, you're gonna need three and one eighth yards of one fourth inch elastic. Now check those finished garment measurements. It's 32 and a half to 49 inch bust. The hips is 34 to 50 and a half. So it is pretty large in size when it comes to the bust and the hips for many people inside of that. But for our plus girlies, which I'm gonna uh, drop this nugget here quickly, um, my girl, Aronica from Aronica Be Cold, she definitely, when these patterns drop, she definitely give you all the plus size models, or I should say more of the plus size patterns that dropped with it. So make sure you are following one, follow her at Aronica Be Cold, where she'll be sharing all the plus size patterns that dropped with all the collections. So if you're a plus girly, make sure you're following Aronica from Aronica Be Cold. So you can see the patterns that will be, you know, inclusive to our plus girlies as well. Now I'm gonna say like this one is not plus size friendly. However, if you pick up this pattern and you cut the size 26, you can enlarge it a little bit, give or take here or there, all right? So there are some options you can do, but it all depends on your pocket, your pocketbook, as well as if you wanna do those adjustments, all right? But definitely check out Aronica B. Cole for more details on the plus size girlies and what patterns will be suitable for you guys. All right, so getting back into Vogue 2063 for this pattern. Now, this pattern didn't remind me of anything. Now, I did have a pattern in mind that it's somewhat similar to, but it's not enough for me to even tell you because it's more like a blazer style top with you know a little bit of the details, but it didn't have the ruching, so I'm not gonna tell you that pattern, but this is a gorgeous pattern. Um, will I be picking this pattern up? I'm gonna say I don't know, simply because now that I'm working from home, I don't have holiday parties and all of that stuff to go to, but 
frock tails that would be gorgeous for a frock tail that's coming up next year in 2025 so we will see if i pick this pattern up but once again it's 2063 let's move over to the next pattern which is 2064. So this is a Mrs. Knit dress. It's close fitting dress with length and sleeve variation. It have a trumpet hem, princess seaming, high roll collar, invisible back zipper, top stitching and stitched hems. Now view A has that extra long sleeve with a thumb hole. And then view B is your sleeveless option. It has cut in shoulders and armhole bands as well. So you're gonna need some bias tape for view B, let's just put it like that, all right? Now, in terms of pattern rating, it is an average to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, it's two pattern envelopes, size six to 14, and then 16 to 24 on the second pattern envelope. Now, I did say that this is a knit dress, but let's go ahead and talk fabrics. So in terms of fabric, you're gonna need your moderate stretch knit, about 35% cross grain stretch. That would be like your ITY, interlock, jersey, knit just to name a few. In terms of notions, the only thing that you're gonna need is a 30 inch invisible zipper. Um, now it is hard to get a 30 inch zipper, so I would just make it, purchase a zipper that's a little bit longer than 30 inches and then cut it to fit, all right? Now this pattern does remind me of a, another pattern. Now this one says knit, but I'm gonna give you one that you can use woven fabric or my woven girlies, okay? It's Vogue 1802, and that is a Mrs. Loose fitting pullover dress. It has the collar extending into the ties in the back. It also has like that slit opening at the neck, side seam pockets, and a purchase bias facing as well. So that is another option, and 1802 is a very easy to sew pattern as well. So it shows, sews up very quickly if you want that option to do something in woven instead of knit. But once again, the original pattern that I'm telling you about is Vogue 2064. A alternate option to that pattern is Vogue 1802. Moving over to the next pattern is 2065. And this is a Tom and Linda plait pattern. Now this pattern is a very loose fitting line bat wing sleeve dress. It has the sheer overlay. It has side front and side back seaming, an invisible back zipper with a hook and eye closure and a lingerie guards. Okay, now when you say lingerie guard, mm, okay. Anyway, this is an advanced to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, two pattern envelopes, 8 to 16 and then 18 to 26 on the second pattern. Let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric, you're going to need your crepe back satin, your um, silky crepes, you could use stable knits. You're going to need some contrast as well. You're, you can use silk organza or chiffon fabric. Um, in terms of lining, I'm going to say any type of silk. So they recommend Chez Muse for your lining and then you're going to need some interfacing. That would be just your normal lightweight fusible interfacing. Make sure you use good interfacing instead of cheap interfacing. I'm just gonna say, it all depends on what you use to make a good garment. Don't say I didn't tell you. Anyway, let's get into the notions. Notions, you're gonna need a 22 inch invisible zipper and then one hook and eye closure and two small snap. Now, this pattern does remind me of a few patterns, only because it's a bat wing dress. Now, first pattern up is Vogue 1720, and that is an oversized color block dress with a bat wing sleeve. It has a back neck opening with hook and eye closure as well. It is also from Tom and Linda Platt as well, and that pattern is an easy to sew pattern. So since the other one is advanced to sew 2065, you can go with the easy to sew pattern um, of 1720 for that pattern. The size range is one pattern envelope, small to extra, extra large for Vogue 1720. So that can definitely be an option for you as well. Another option for you, another Tom and Linda Platt pattern, um, it is, Vogue 1614, which is a semi-fitted line dress. It has the asymmetrical overlay. It has an invisible back zipper and hem line slit. But just make sure that you know that the wrong side of the overlay will show as well. That is an average to sew pattern there. 
Now, I like the sleeves on this one. This is why I'm giving you that pattern. But in terms of sizing, it's 6 to 14 and 14 to 22 on the second pattern envelope. And the last one I'm going to give you for 2065, an alternative, would be Vogue 1482, which is the Batwing Dolman Sleeve Dress. This is an older pattern as well. Now, this is a Rachel Com Comey uh, pattern. Um, that came out and I, I want to say it came out in roughly about 2016 for that pattern But you could definitely do that one. That one is a very loose fitting pullover dress It has the bias neck facing loop um, front seam Left side pocket sleeve cuff stitched hem and all that good stuff So this one would be good to do as a alternative to Vogue 2065 but once again, that pattern is 2065 that I am showing you. Let's go ahead and get over to the next pattern. So the next pattern is 2066. And this one is a close fitting line mermaid hem dress that has deep V neckline, raised waist seam, extended shoulders, covered shoulder pads, invisible back zipper with the hook and eye closure and a back waist darts. All right, so this dress features trim around the neck band and contrast statement sleeves. It also has a slight train in the back of the skirt and a baby hem. Don't forget that you're going to have that ribbon hanging straps on the inside of the garment. All right. This is an average to sew pattern. So let's talk about sizing. So in terms of sizing for this pattern, it's two pattern envelope. The first one is six to 14 and the second pattern envelope is 16 to 24. Let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric, you can use crepe, crepe back satin, wool crepe, just to name a few. For the contrast, you're gonna need some contrast fabric like your jacar, your taffeta, um, makado would be kind of like your contrast because this is like an elegant, you know, holiday style dress. So you're gonna need, you know, those fabrics that are a lot more expensive, all right? But you can get some discounts on fabric. You just gotta know when to go, all right? Let's talk lining, lining, she muse, crepe fabrics, lining fabrics, any type of silky fabric should be what you want to use for your lining fabric for this. And don't skip out on the lightweight fusible interfacing. In terms of notions, you're going to need a 22 inch invisible zipper and a hook and eye closure. And of course, a pair of half inch shoulder pads. You're also going to need one yard of one fourth or three eighths ribbon. And that's for the straps on the inside of your dress. All right. And then finally, you're going to need one and one half yards of two inch beaded trim to go around your dress. All right. Make sure you look at the finished garment measurements for the bust, weights and hips. It's pretty, you know, standard 35. So in terms of the bust, 33 and a half to 49, the waist 26 to 41 and a half. And then the hips is 35 and a half to 51. My I'm going to tell you that anytime I open up a pattern, I'm going to measure because sometimes these pattern envelopes be a little off. I'm not saying that this pattern is off, but if you know, you know. All right. <laughs> but once again, this pattern is Vogue 2066. Let's move over to the next pattern. Next one up is 2067. This is the Mrs. Knit Top and Jacket pattern. So it's a loose fitting top. It has the round neck with notch details. Drop shoulders, front seam detail, shaped hem, and side slits as well. So this is a loose fitting jacket as well, which is view B, is the loose fitting jacket. It has separating front zipper, front inseam pockets, shaped hem, and a line hood with ribbon details. It is an average to show pattern. So let's talk about sizing. So in terms of sizing, it's one pattern envelope, extra small to extra, extra large for this pattern. Let's talk fabrics. So in terms of fabrics, you're going to need moderate, moderate stretch knits. That would be your 35 cross grain stretch as well. That would be like your double knits, your ponte, your interlocking, your sweatshirt, your sweatshirt fleece, just to name a few. Um, you're going to need some interfacing. Now, view B, the jacket has contrast. You can just use your novelty wovens or novelty cottons, whichever one you want to use for that, for that contrast. Let's talk notions. So in terms of notions, you're going to need one and three fourth yard of three eighth inch ribbon. Um, and that is for the jacket. You're not going to need any notions for view A, which is the top. 
but view B, you're going to also need one 26 inch separating zipper, okay? So the only notions that you're gonna need is for view B, the jacket. View A, once again, is a what? No notion pattern, okay? Now, I just realized I haven't been sharing with you guys what patterns I'm gonna pick up, but just to go back real quick, 2063, a possibility. 2064, I'm gonna skip out on um, because I have Vogue 1802, 2065, I'm going to be skipping out on that because I do have the Vogue 1720 pattern as well as the Vogue 1614 pattern. So I don't feel like I need to pick that one up. But 2066, I'm going to skip that pattern. 2067, it's a possibility on the knit top and jacket pattern that I just mentioned to you guys because I do like that jacket as well. But once again, this pattern is 2067. Next pattern up is 2068. And this pattern is, of course, your top and sash pattern. Now, let me say this, that there are so many Vogue patterns that are straight up button down shirt. Now, this pattern reminds me of so many different patterns. All you need to do is just kind of do a little bit of hacking in order to achieve. Now, I know you're going to say, what patterns would that be? You could use McCall 7838. You could use the new Simplicity 3032, Simplicity 3002. There's so many. And make sure you check the description box below so you could see the alternative patterns that I'm giving you for all of the patterns that I feel are similar to other patterns, all right? So let's go ahead and get into this pattern, 2068. It is a very loose fitting poet style top. It has front button closures, a yoke, a front shoulder pleat, extra long bishop sleeves, which I like, with button cuffs. It also has a continuous lap opening and stitched hem. So view A is your puss, pussy bow collar. View B has a collar and collar band and matching sash pulled through the side seam opening. So you would pull the sash through and tie it around your waist, okay? You can also make um, kind of like belt loops if you want on the side to keep that sash in place as well. It's completely up to you how you wanna do that, all right? But this pattern, you could also use the pattern that I used when I did a sew along for that was more like, it said it was a dress, but it was more like a button down open front shirt. I'll put that up so you're able to see it, but it was a simplicity pattern that I did in, in Ankara print last year and paired it with some blue jeans. You could do that pattern as well. I do like the fact that it looks like it has pleats at the shoulders and, you know, some at the waist as well. But I, I actually like view B. I am going to be picking up this pattern, not like your girl need any more button down shirt, but hey, you never know, okay? You never know. This is an average to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, it's two pattern envelopes, eight to 16, and then 16 is 26 on the second pattern envelope. In terms of fabrics, let's talk fabrics. You could use cotton shirting for this pattern. You could use crepe, you could use jacquard, poplin, rayon crepe, just to name a few. You're definitely gonna need lightweight fusible interfacing for that. In terms of notion, you're just gonna need buttons because what, it's a button down shirt, so you're gonna need some buttons, of course. You knew, you knew that. All right, so you're gonna need 14 half inch buttons as well for this pattern, but once again, it's 2068. Let's move over to the next pattern, which is 2069. Now, this is a Mrs. Skirt in two lengths. So let me just tell you, you know what, I'm gonna tell you what it is, and then I'm gonna tell you what patterns, you know, you could use for this one. So this one is a semi-fitted line straight skirt. It has couture waistband and button closure, side lap zipper, but you could change that to an invisible zipper if you don't wanna do a lap zipper. That's completely up to you, and that's optional. It also features a back welt pocket, side front vent, and belt loop. So the skirt comes in both short sleeves or midi length. It is an average to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, it's two pattern envelopes. The first one is eight to 16, and the second pattern envelope is 18 to 26 on that pattern. Now, let's talk fabrics. So you could use medium weight denim, you could use sateen, you could use twill, you could use wool blend. So Basically, whatever fabric that you want. Now, it does say that you're gonna need some lining fabric, 
but it also depends on what type of fabric you're gonna use, if it's medium or heavyweight compared to lightweight. Now, if you are using lightweight, like a cotton fabric, I'm gonna definitely say line it. But if you're using a medium weight or a heavyweight fabric, like your denims or your twill, you know, or tweed, you do not have to line the fabric, okay? Just make sure you're not using something thin and, you know, what's a good word I could use? Something thin or see-through, all right? Don't skip out on your lightweight fusible interfacing to stabilize your waistband. In terms of notion, the only notions that you're gonna need is one seven inch. Now, it depends on if you wanna do it as a lap zipper or if you wanna do it as an invisible zipper, but you need a seven inch zipper and one three fourth inch buttons. All right, so that's Vogue 2069. Now, this pattern reminds me of a few patterns. The first pattern is Simplicity 8699, which is actually a wrap skirt, but this wrap skirt can be done in mini, midi, or maxi, and even knee length. So I feel like this pattern, Simplicity 8699, view A is a close view, but you could definitely do view C on this pattern. That pattern is also an average to sew pattern. You do not have to put the second button, second or third button. You could just do one button if you choose, or you could just do this pattern and make it similar to the Vogue pattern. And also simplicity is normally $2.99, $3.99, you know, depending on where you're going and where you get it from. And it's on sale right now on simplicity.com at $4.99. Whereas your Vogue patterns are normally $7.99. Shh, don't say that I didn't tell you, but you could definitely use Simplicity 8699 and achieve the same look. Another pattern that 2069, um, I'm gonna say, you know, Mimic. <laughs> I like that one. Mimic would be a learn to sew pattern and that pattern is Simplicity 8133, which is also a wrap skirt. The difference with this one is you're not gonna use any buttons, okay? It's a very easy to sew pattern. You'll be doing the shape waistband, you'll be doing some tie ends, patch pockets, all of that good stuff for this pattern as well. Now in terms, and let me go back and tell you like the view that I'm looking at would be view C. Now in terms of kind of like the notions for that one, you're not gonna need any notions if you do view C. The only thing that you're gonna need is thread. So if you are a beginner, or you know, beginner sewist, this pattern may be for you instead of the Vogue 2069. Simplicity 8133 may be a better option for you as well. So those are the two patterns that I'm gonna give you that can be an alternative to 2069. Let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern, which is 2070. Now this is a Mrs. Shorts and Pants pattern. It is a loose fitting short or pants that have belt loops, fly front zipper, pleated front, side seam pockets, back welt pockets, and wide legs, okay? It is an average to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, it's two pattern envelopes, eight to 16 and 18 to 26. Let me stop there. I will be picking up this pattern. Um, on 2069, I will not be picking up that pattern because I have the other ones. I forgot to tell you that. All right, so catching back up to 2060, I'm sorry, 2070 for this one, which is the shorts and pants pattern. Um, it, I told you that it's two pattern envelopes, eight to 16 and 18 to 26 on the second pattern envelope. Let's talk fabrics. So in terms of fabric, you can use medium weight denim, sateen, leather, twill, wood blends, just to name a few. Don't skip out on the lightweight fusible interfacing. In terms of notions, the only notion that you're going to need is one seven inch zipper. All purpose or exposed zipper, do not pick up a invisible zipper, okay? Because it has a fly front zipper. I've mentioned this before. Now, one thing that I dislike about this pattern is it looks like it's going to have a facing instead of a waistband. I like things with waistband. So I'm gonna have to create my own waistband and 86 that facing piece, okay? Because your girl needs a waistband to, you know, you know, I like a waistband. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not a big girl of facing pieces, okay? But I love a good waistband and I'm just gonna have to draft me a waistband. Now this pattern does remind me of a pattern, uh, two patterns actually. So the first one, a big five pattern, which is Vogue 9008. 
Brittany J. Jones have a complete sew along for this pattern, Vogue 9008, which is a pleated or flat front shorts. And I would say like some Bermuda shorts, you could get a Bermuda shorts with this pattern as well. And this pattern is an easy to sew pattern. So that's one option you can do. The second pattern, my girl Chris from Unsocial just made this pattern, all right? So it's a pattern that you can get on Etsy, a company by the name of NH Patterns, which is a professionally drafted PDF sewing pattern. That's what uh, they do. It is from the UK. Now the pattern that I'm referring to is the Riviera pants and short PDF pattern. You could get it on Etsy for $13.64 right now on Etsy. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description box below. That would be another option um, for this one. Yes, I know it would be a little bit more before you say that. I know that it's a little bit more, but the details, the details is all in the details and the instructions and very, very good reviews on this one. And if you think I'm lying, go ask my girl, Chris from on social, how good this pattern is. All right. So I see, I saw this on Chris. She just made them so she could give you all the details of this pattern. And I see a couple of other individuals make the NH um, Riviera pants as well. So go there. The link is in the description box below. It'll take you directly to Etsy to purchase the pattern. You're welcome. All right, let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern being Vogue 2071. Now this is a Mrs. Jacket. It's a loose fitting jacket that has no side or shoulder seam. Did you hear me? <laughs> Did you hear me? There's no side or shoulder seam. So it features a tall collar folds back and ties in the front. It has three fourth length sleeves, shaped hem, internal binding and contrast band and a facing, okay? It is an average to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, it's one pattern envelope, extra small to extra, extra large. Now I will be picking up this pattern because it's more like a poncho or like a throw on jacket, I guess I could say, right? Um, in terms of fabric, you can use four way uh, crepe, jacquard, linen blends, just to name a few, medium weight wovens work best for this. Now in terms of like the contrast for the ribbon or I should say the ties at the collar or the cuffs, you'd need satin fabric fabric. So crate back satin or just straight up satin fabric would work for that. Um, they're saying some lining fabric. I don't know where that lining is going to go unless you kind of line it from the inside. You're going to need some lining fabric and some interfacing for the collar area. All right. Now in terms of the finished garment measurement, it's going to be on the inside of the pattern. So you guys hear me say this all the time. Make sure when you go to Joann's and pick up patterns, Definitely check not only the instructions are in there for the right pattern that you're picking up, but also do not be scared to open up the pattern and check the pattern tissue. I don't know how many times I have been to Joanne and the patterns have been swapped. All right. So I'm just going to give you that tip. Make sure you are not scared to go in Joanne's and open up some patterns and make sure that you're getting what you paid for instead of wasting more gas and going back. All right. But once again, this is Vogue 2071. This pattern doesn't remind me of another pattern at the moment. Outside of like a costume pat pattern, it can remind me of that, but I did not go looking for another pattern for this one. So it's 2071. Moving over to the next pattern is 2072. I will be picking this up because y'all know it is bomber <laughs> jacket season. Okay. So it is bomber season and... Carmen from Black Sewing Network. She currently has a challenge going on. Hashtag We Sew Bomber. Make sure you check out the hashtag on Instagram if you are wanting to participate in the Bomber Jacket Challenge as well. Go to uh, Tag Reinvented and Black Sewing Network on Instagram in order to see the details of that challenge. All right, so this is a Mrs. J 
jacket. It is Vogue 2072. It is a loose fitting line bomber jacket. It has oversized collar, long dolman sleeves with button cuffs, front button closure, front welt pockets, and rib knit trim for the waistband, okay? So the waistband has that rib knit that you're going to need. If you do not want to do rib knit, you can use some Ponte fabric in order to have that trim at the bottom. If you know, you know. View A has the contrast upper collar as well if you want to do that. Now this is an average to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, one pattern envelope, extra small to extra, extra large. Now your girl's gonna pick up like three of these patterns. So if they're sold out, I'm sorry, I'm just joking, I'm joking. <laughs> but <laughs> I am going to be picking up two to three of these patterns because one will be for my daughter, one will be for myself. I could just pick up two. Actually, I may just pick up one and just trace the pattern. Now we're actually gonna pick up two, one for me to cut and then one for me to hang on to just in case the pattern becomes out of print, okay? So that is my rant for that one. In terms of fabric for this one, you can use fleece, jacquard, medium weight wools, synthetic leather, or twill. Now you know your girl have to use a lightweight fabric for my area and my climate, which is hot all day, okay? We have five seasons, you guys have four. We have early spring, spring, early summer, summer, and then second summer. So that's the five seasons that we have here in Florida. If you live in Florida, you know exactly what I'm talking about, all right? Now you're going to need some lining fabric for this one and some lightweight fusible interfacing. In terms of notions, you're going to need five, yes, you heard me, five, seven, eight inch buttons. Now it is very hard to find seven, eight inch buttons. So for me, I'm just gonna go up to one inch buttons when I decide to do this jacket. You're going to also need one strip of seven inches by 64 inch rib knit trim. Now I'm not sure if it's going to be a pattern piece or if you have to cut that, but you want to cut it seven inches long by, I'm sorry, seven inches high by 64 inches long, which is weird. All right, but when you get this pattern, you'll know what I'm talking about. But once again, it's 2072. Moving over to the next pattern, which is 2073. Now this pattern does remind me of another pattern that is actually a Vogue pattern. I cannot remember it off the top of my head because a lot of these patterns I remember off the top of my head, but I cannot think exactly of what the pattern, I just see like a blue, not I'm sorry, not blue, but purple dress right in front of me that's similar to this. Once I figure it out, I will drop it in the description box below. All right, so give me a little bit to figure this out and then I'll drop it in the description box below. But if you know what I'm talking about, shoot me a DM or comment below to let me know and I will update the description, all right? But this is a Mrs. Jacket with sleeve variations. It's a close fitting line jacket. It has off the shoulder notch collars, front pockets and princess seams. Now view A is your sleeveless option and then view B has the two piece sleeve as well. In terms of, I'm sorry. So in terms of the sewing rating, it's advanced to sew pattern. This is two pattern envelopes in terms of sizing, eight to 16 and 18 to 26 on the second pattern envelope. Now when it comes to fabric, you can use gabardine, linen blends, wool blends, just to name a few. You can even use crepe. You're going to need some lining fabric to line this, and you're definitely going to need some medium weight fusible interfacing. In terms of notions, you're going to need five, seven, eight inch buttons, and then one internal button. So you're gonna need a total of six, okay? Now, it's hard to find seven, eight inch buttons that are cute and don't look like plastic and cheap, so I'm gonna say if you cannot find seven eighth inch buttons, you could definitely find the one inch <laughs> better, okay? But once again, this is 2073 for that pattern. Moving over to the next one, a pattern that I'm definitely going to be picking up, which is 2074. This is a Mrs. Cape and Coat pattern. Now this pattern pretty much reminds me of Mimi G pattern that came out back in like 20, 15, 2016, the pattern number is Simplicity 1016 because she has a coat and a cape for that pattern, all right? But let's get into this pattern, 2074 for Vogue. It's a loose fitting line flared coat with cape, uh, cape attached. At the neckline, it have a long set in sleeve, 
collar, collar band, button front, welt pockets, and a stitch hem. This is an average to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, one pattern envelope, small to extra, extra large on that pattern. In terms of fabric, let's talk fabrics, by the way. You can use gabardine, medium weight wool, raincoat fabric, or twill for this one. For me, I would use twill because I have some twill in my stash that I can use for this. You're going to need some lining fabric as well and lightweight fusible interfacing. In terms of notion, the only notion you're gonna need is six, seven, eight inch buttons. I just noticed that Vogue love these seven, eight inch buttons, which is hard for us in the US to find. So use one inch buttons if you cannot use seven, eight inch buttons, all right? You're welcome, but once again, it's 2074 for this pattern. Moving over to the next pattern. So the next pattern is 2075. It's a very loose fitting coat. It have long dolman sleeves, bound button holes, front pockets. View A has a stand up collar and contrast cuffs and a pocket flap. Now for view A, I like that it is contrast on the pockets that contrast cuffs as well is fantastic. I like that. And I like the pocket flaps with that little, I don't even know what to call it, but I like that detail. It's like a buckle flat situation. I like that as well. Now view B has the self line hood. <coughs> I'm here for that. I like both views to be honest with you. It is an average to so pattern in terms of sizing for this pattern. It's one pattern envelope, extra small to extra, extra large for this pattern. Let's get into fabric. So in terms of fabric, you could use uh, cashmere blends, fleece, medium weight wool, just to name a few. Now on view A, in terms of the contrast, you can use synthetic leather, just to name one that you can use from the back of the pattern envelope. You're going to need some lining fabric as well. And then of course, lightweight fusible interfacing. In terms of notions, um, for both views, you're going to need four, seven, eight inch buttons and then one button on the inside. So I'm going to say you're going to need at least five buttons. Now for view A, because it is contrast, you're going to need two pairs of one and a half inch D rings. Okay. So don't skip out on that as well. Now this one is a unique pattern, which is why I'm picking it up. Um, you can achieve the same look by doing another pattern. Um, but I'm going to skip out on telling you what pattern that is because it's going to be a whole freaking hack if you was to get that other pattern that I'm thinking of. But once again, this is 2075. Moving over to the next one is 2076. This is a Mrs. Knits dress and top front and back and a skirt. All right, so this pattern is a lounge wear top and dress pattern. It's loose fitting through the bust. It have the drop shoulder, neck band, and long sleeve with the thumb holes. It also features a close fitting pull on skirt that sits about two inches below your waist and has side seam pockets, side slits, and a elastic waist. Now view A and view B can be worn front and back. It just, so basically it's kind of like a switcheroo. You go wear, whatever you have in the back and the front and vice versa, front to back. So you just switch it around if you want to, okay? You only making one thing, <laughs> one top or one dress and you could wear it multiple ways. I love that for us, all right? It is an easy to sew pattern. Now, listen, in terms of sizing, eight to 16 on the first pattern and 18 to 26 on the second pattern envelope. Let's talk fabric. So because this is a knit dress, you're going to need knit fabric. That's all I need to tell you. You're in, you need some form of knits. Now I could definitely see this pattern being one of the Sew Your View patterns, you know, probably next year, but not probably this year, but you know, I know, I know um, that's something that they may be looking at because it is an easy to sew pattern for this one as well. I don't know. I just have to see if sis is, you know, filling this pattern. I like this pattern. I will be picking this pattern up because one, it is easy to sew. And you know, like I like to flip it around and this would be a great business work where when you don't have a lot of time to sew, you could definitely get this pattern. And so I would definitely say you could sew the top, the dress and the skirt, and then you can have so many different looks. You can literally just do these three pieces and have a seven day work 
look, don't say I didn't tell you, but that's what you could do with this pattern. Once again, it's 2076. Moving over to the next one. It's 2077. This is the Mrs. Rope with belt and Teddy. Okay. If you know what Teddy is, you know, you know. All right. So this is the loose fitting rope with matching belt. It has a wide seven eight length sleeve, which is in lace. All right. So it features the contrast lace yoke and sleeves and is finished with bias facing. So the bias cut Teddy has lace trim, high cut leg opening and narrow adjustable straps. All right. So it's an average to sew pattern in terms of sizing is two pattern envelope, six to 14 and 16 to 24 on the second pattern envelope. In terms of fabric, you can use Silk Jacquard, you could use Shea Muse, you could use Shally. I'm just gonna say any type of silk deep print. But for the contrast, you're going to need some lace. You can't skip out on that lace, all right? Now, if you are a lingerie girly, we're not gonna say that I am, but we are gonna say I am, okay? This can be definitely for you. That's why I said if you don't know what a teddy is, girl, you just don't know, all right? <laughs> all right, but let's talk about notions, notions, um, you're going to need um, some lace for this one and some elastic and bra strap sliders and rings for this one. All right. I'm not going to get too far into this because my husband's over here look, looking at me and listening. And before I go too far off, I want to stay on task. But this is 2077. Moving over to the next pattern is 2078. This is a Mrs. Bolero and Kate pattern. I will be picking up this pattern. Um... And I'm going to tell you why I'm going to pick up this pattern, but let's get into what this pattern is. It's a line dark fitted bolero. It has below elbow length balloon sleeves with the stay. It also features a line cape. It have hook and eye closure. And then Kate B has a stand up collar. Now this reminds me of a Butterick pattern. I don't know the the exact pattern number off the top of my head, but I'm going to drop it in the comment section below because it is a older pattern from like 2015, 2016. Um, view B definitely remind me of that cape. Okay. So I'm going to drop it in the description box below, open it up. So you you're able to see that, but this is an average to sew pattern. It comes in one pattern envelope and that pattern envelope is extra small to extra, extra large on that pattern. Let's talk fabric. So in terms of fabric, um, you could use brocade, you could use satin, you could use makeko, makeado, my bad, makeado, or some crepe, all right? Um, and then you're going to need some lining fabric. I'm gonna say like any type of silky fabric, like your China silk, your Char Charmeuse, um, or some lining fabric. You're going to need some lightweight fusible interfacing as well. In terms of notions, okay, so for view A, you're going to need some covered shoulder pads and one pack of a fourth of inch wide double fold bias tape. For view B and view C, it's a no notion pattern. The only thing you're going to need is one hook and eye closure. And I know you're probably saying, you just said it's no notion, but you're gonna tell me that, you know, you need a hook and eye closure. That's optional. It depends on if you wanna keep it closed or not, okay? That's up to you, but it can be a no notion pattern for view B or view C. Once again, this pattern is 2078. Moving over to the next pattern, 2079, which is another Mrs. Bolero sleeves in three styles. I will be picking this up because I like view A and view B. And this pattern is basically like your Bolero, but you could put it over a skirt. So let's say for instance that you make a um, slip dress and you don't want sleeves, but you want sleeves. You can accessorize and make this pattern and boom, you instantly have used sleeves, but when you take it off because you got hot, right? It's just a slip dress. So that's why I'm picking this pattern up, but let's get into the description of this pattern. So view A is a bolero, bolero top or cape, whatever, whichever one you wanna say. I'm just saying bolero sleeve. It has the long bishop sleeves with the tight neckline. View B Bolero has the bias binding finish. It features tie front and below elbow length gathered sleeves. I love that, okay, on View B. View C I'm not feeling because it's just plain Jane, but View C is a Bolero. It is lined. It has seven inch 
flinch. Doman sleeves is pleated into a cuff and hook and eye front closure as well. Now, you see you can make it a no notion if you do not include that hook and eye closure, but because it has the pleat into a cuff, the cuff, I mean, it doesn't say that you need buttons for the cuff, so you can do view C as a no notion pattern. You're welcome. All right, so it is an easy to sew pattern for this pattern. It comes in one pattern envelope, extra small to extra large for that, for this pattern, I should say. Um, in terms of fabric, charmeuse, crepe, satin, just to name a few, you're going to need some lining fabric. That would be your silky prints, like your charmeuse or your crepe fabric. Now you're gonna need some lightweight fusible interfacing only if you are doing view C, the unattractive one in my eyes, it's just my opinion, all right? Now, in terms of notion, like I mentioned, this is a no notion pattern unless you are doing view C, which is one hook and eye, but you could definitely 86, which means skip the hook and eye and leave it open. And then this would definitely be all three views, no notion pattern. Write it down, you want this pattern, 2079. All right, let's go ahead and move over to the next pattern, 2080, which is the Memphis jacket. I will not be picking this pa pattern up because I could just definitely use Norris Donta Ford's pattern that just dropped. I'm gonna put it up on the screen because I don't remember the number off the top of my head because it just dropped. I think it's actually a no me pattern and the pattern is 21, something. All right. I'm just going to put it up on the screen um, because he had simplicity pattern drops as well as no me pattern drops. Norris was freaking busy <laughs> spraying and summer creating his patterns. All right. I'm not even mad at Norris, but anyway, let's get into this pattern 2080. And this is a fitted line jacket. I have concealed separating zipper closure, yoke, chest pockets with the flaps and long two piece sleeves. Now view B has well pockets and top stitching as well. This is an average to sew pattern. In terms of sizing, it's two pattern envelopes. The first pattern is chest sides, 34 to 42, and the second pattern is 44 to 52, all right? So one thing that I'm gonna mention right here when it comes to men pattern, they go by the chest, right? Whereas for us, it's just like sides, eight to 16, 16 to 24. But for the men's, they're talking about the chest measurement of 34 to 42 and then 44 to 52. That's what they're talking about. That's why the numbers are much larger, all right? Now, in terms of fabric, now for this pattern, you can use denim, linen, medium weight wools, or nylon, just to name a few. You're going to need some lining fabric, so check out the back of the pattern envelope for that. In terms of notion, the only notion you're going to need is a 24 inch separating zipper for this jacket. But once again, it's 2080. Moving over to the next pattern, I will be picking up because listen, if you have not been collecting the DVF patterns, I've been doing that in both paper and PDF patterns. So I got the 20, uh, the 2000, the 2020, the 2040, the 2060. Now I'm getting ready to pick up the 2081 and have my own collection of DVF patterns for all of her wrap dresses. I know everyone's like, well, you already got all of these. It's similar to this, it's similar to that. I want it only because I want it. Once it's out of the vault, you might want to pick it up because once it goes back in the vault, you may be spending 45 to $60 next time it comes out. I'm just saying, don't say that I didn't tell you. But this is 2081 and right now it's $25.20. Let's it's not on sale. Let's just put it like that. Okay. Now this is the 1970 Mrs. Wrap Dress by DVF. I don't need to give you full details of this pattern because it's a wrap dress. It's a front wrap dress that have three inches below the mid knee. It has a fitted bodice and a V neckline for this one. It like it's just your standard wrap dress. It is a vintage reproduction pattern from the 70s by DVS, Diane von Frustenberg. It is an easy to sew pattern. Yes, I know I do have patterns similar to this, but I'm just going to pick it up. Now, I know many of you will probably say, since you have a pattern similar to this, why would you pick it up? You know, listen, I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> you go do what you want to do with your coins and I'm going to do what I want to do with my coins. <laughs> but once again, it's 2081. But 
In terms of sizing, it's 8 to 16 and 18 to 26 on the second pattern envelope. Now, I did catch, I don't know if you catch it on the Simplicity website, that this one is a knit. So in terms of fabric, you're going to need stretch knit only, like your cotton knit, your double knit, your ponty knit, jersey knit, just to name a few. Now, in terms of notion, you're going to need two half inch buttons and that's to keep it closed on the inside, all right? And some seam binding. Now, if you do not wanna do any buttons, buttonholes, whatever, I'm just gonna say make you a sash, okay? And keep it closed or a snap or something like that. But once again, this pattern is 2082. Moving over to the last pattern for this collection, it is 2082, and this is the 1960s Mrs. Dress and Bolero. So this pattern originally came out in 1963. It is a one piece evening dress and Bolero. The dress is in two lengths, with slight gathers, and release darts, okay, pleats. And that's joined at the camisole bodice. So you may ask, what is release dart pleats? Guess what? You're going to have to Google that because I have never heard it like that. I'm just going to say that it is some darts or you, you'll be doing some darts and some pleats. So I'm going to say that I think that you're going to make the darts first and then go over the dart with a pleat. I hope I'm saying that right. But if you know let me know in the comment section below what what are release dart pleats, okay? I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm calling out all my vintage girlies, you know, Stephanie, Julie, Rena. If y'all know, let me know in the description box below because your girl just had a dumb moment right now. I don't know. And I, I'm okay saying I don't know, all right? Exactly what are, what are release dart pleats, okay? All right, so finishing off shoestring shoulder straps. So sho shoestring shoulder straps is just basically thin straps above the waist length bolero buttons at back below elbow length sleeves. Like I mentioned, this is a vintage reproduction pattern. It is an average to sew pattern as well. In terms of sizing, it's eight to 16. And then the second pattern is 18 to 26 on the second pattern envelope. So I'm just going to say like for this pattern, I would definitely say woven fabrics of your choosing, your brocade, your linen, your PK, your shang tongue, just to name a few, you're going to need some lining fabric and you're definitely going to need some lightweight fusible interfacing. In terms of notions for this pattern, so getting into the notions for this pattern, um, I don't see any notions outside of like four buttons for the bolero. You're definitely going to need a 14 inch zipper for the back of that dress. Um, they're saying that you're going to need some ribbon, some hook and eyes just for, you know, the dress as well. But other than that, you know, it looks like a standard dress and I'm pretty sure you could get the same dress with other patterns as well. Um, but I would definitely say ask our vintage girlies more about this pattern for sure, because I'm not the one you want to ask about this pattern, all right? I will be skipping this pattern, but once again, this is 2082. Well, those are all the patterns for this collection, Vogue Winter 2024 patterns. I hope you enjoyed my thoughts, opinions about this pattern. Let me know, in, these patterns, let me know in the description box below or in the comment section below, I should say, which patterns will you be picking up? and why. I would love to hear it. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And if this video was educational, inspiring, and fun, please do not forget to give me two double thumbs up or hit that like button to let me know you like content like this. Also, if you have not done so already, subscribe to the channel and join me for more sewing tips, pattern hauls, fabric hauls, sew alongs, you know, I do all of those things. And I tell you the pattern sells each week if you are new here, all right? Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, keep sewing. Yeah, I got a story to tell. I know they want me to fail. If they throw me into a cell, I know why she paying the bill. Cause I can afford to be quiet. My city is dying and children are crying. Be alert, not devour. The enemy's probably you just like a lion. But we got the keys, I promise you Hold on to the peace inside of you No, I'm not alone You're not alone You gotta honor
me who follows you It's time to rise up, lift your eyes up Yeah, hope is on the way